Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Monty, and I'm here again with another list of uh, equipment and what units you should play with which equipment. In this video, I will speak uh, about uh, what weapon you should play with which uh, legendary DPS unit. Hopefully you guys like it and hopefully it will be helpful for you. So let's jump into it. Hey you! Yes you! Do you still buy things directly in the game client? Come on, you know it's much better to purchase on the market. It's so simple. You just go into the Russia official market or you can just click in the link in the description. Choose any item you want and after that if you want to support me you can use my creator code MANTI and enter any message you want to me. You have plenty of payment methods there as well. That's one of the best ways to become even better player than you are right now. For all those who support me, big thanks guys and stay awesome. Alright, so we have four, four equipment, four weapons in our lovely game. We have spear, sword, bow and staff. That's pretty simple. Uh, I try to be as objective as I can. Uh, I made some exceptions for people who will ask what can I do if I have bow but I don't have spear. Like, sure, you can play it, uh, but it is not the best, like, best in slots, which is bees. Uh, many players use this term. Uh, so I will try to explain my thought process and why do I think, uh, for example, Spear is best for uh, for Blade Dancer or for, I don't know, like Inquisitor. And uh, that's only um, examples. All right, so let's begin with Spear. Spear with Bard, in my opinion, is not the best. Uh, all right, maybe with Bard, Bard is different because it has level 13 left and right side talent. With red side talent, which is Ride, uh, right side talent, uh, the red Bard is played with Spear because talent gives you damage, so you need a bit more attack speed, of course. And uh, so that's my variation, uh, that's my exception. Sure, you can play it with Spear, uh if you play level 11 level 13 right side talent for blade dancer it is pretty simple just because you generate those tornadoes that help you clear the board so it is preferably played with spear but sure you can play it with other weapons as well if you play for example with knight statue uh so that's uh other variation with bruiser i think a bruiser can be played with other uh weapons but i think in my opinion from my experience bruiser is played the like the best option for bruiser is spear by far um it's just because bruiser has very high damage from the empowered rage uh so it only is normal thing if you want more attack speed because you have high damage you need more attack speed to deal even more damage um simple Spear with Corsair, sure it is played, in my opinion, uh, attack speed for Corsair works that you throw even more bombs, uh, which means that you will have even higher chance to throw those uh, better bombs, those bigger bombs, I don't know the name of it, um, but that's that. Inquisitor, Inquisitor with Spear, I think Inquisitor is one of those units that is played only with Spear doesn't really benefits from other uh from from other weapons uh yeah if you want to play inquisitor you have to have spear with light faction on it of course uh riding hood riding hood is can be played with spear but in these times i don't think it is the best uh, item slot uh, but sure if you don't have other weapons such as sword uh, you can play it with spear, sure, no problem. I know that making new equipment is very, very, very expensive, very time consu consuming. Uh, you need a lot of fragments, you need a lot of gold. So yeah, if you have spear with, with techno faction on it, you can play it. Robot, robot with spear. Uh, I think, I think it is the best weapon for for robot. Uh, I put uh, put robot in stuff as well. Uh, but in my opinion, Robot just benefits a bit more from Spear than it benefits from Staff. Um, so that's that. For Seadog as well, even if you play uh, Toxic side of Seadog, uh, in my opinion, it, it just benefits from Spear much, much more than it benefits from, for example, from Staff. Uh, 
you just need attack speed to last longer to uh, suffocate your enemy a bit longer to survive basically to suffocate your uh, enemy uh spirit master spirit master in my opinion is played uh, the best with spear spirit master has high damage high attack speed uh usually it is played with uh with fortuna uh zeus or necromancer um i would argue if you need spear with zeus because you get attack speed from zeus styles but if you play odd, any other hero uh, except Zeus or Gadget, you don't really get that extra attack speed. So I would recommend playing it with Spear. And Sword DPS, I saw people play it with other weapons than Spear because of the it's high, a very high attack speed. Uh, but I also saw the highest number with Spear. So that's my excuse to put it only in Spear basically. Uh, Trent. Trent is played with three weapons. Uh, too many surprises. It's very expensive to play Trent. Uh, for not high whales, not high spenders, I wouldn't recommend going for Trent. Uh, because it requires you to build three different weapons. Uh, depends on what hero you want to play. Uh, but it is played with Spear. Very, very good with Spear. Um, yeah, overall very powerful unit overall. Uh, Demon Hunter, I think Demon Hunter can be played only with Spear due to the fact that it lacks uh, attack speed. Um, it has attack speed on the level 9 right side talent or I think it's right side talent the Twilight Hunters. Uh, but this talent is not really that great in my opinion. Uh, so I would recommend playing it with Spear. Uh, because, uh, because of the stacks you can gather that extra damage that you need, so you need uh, extra attack speed. Uh, Monk. Monk, I think, is one of those units as well uh, that you can play only with Spear. Uh, it has single target damage, of course, it has a AoE damage, I think 50% from level, uh, from ability that you gain whenever you press that button. Uh, but it is not enough, I think, you just need to deal enough damage to a single target to just maintain the wave. Uh, Tesla. I think Tesla with Spear is just great uh, because of the fact that you generate those linked uh, between the monsters attacks uh, damage uh, just just good overall really solid uh, choice for for techno uh, for techno for Tesla sorry all right next we have Sword uh, I think for Bart this is the best best in slot for Bart uh, you play Blue Bart. Uh, level 13 left side talent with sword it has the highest potential for uh, Bart uh, in my opinion in terms of damage uh, so yeah if you want to play Bart and you plan to go for Bart you should have a sword with a kingdom of light faction bonus uh, I saw some people play it with uh, with blade dancer if you play knight statue like I said before uh, sure, you can play with sword then because you have that attack speed, extra attack speed from knight statues. Uh, I also put Corsair here um, for some reasons. Can't really explain it, but my thought process was uh, that you can hit harder with sword from those bombs uh, rather than having a lot of bombs that will hit uh, lighter. That's my reasoning. Um, Genie. Oh, Genie, Genie, Genie. I think Genie benefits from Sword the most. Uh, just because of the Vortex damage. Uh, it is just really, really powerful currently. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. Like, Genie is the best for Sword, in my opinion. The best unit currently. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right, next we have Meteor. Uh, I think Meteor can be played with Sword. Uh, unless you don't have stuff. If you don't have stuff, sure, you can play it with Sword. But it will not be that great. Just because uh, Meteor right now is not that great. But if you want to play it, you need a lot, a lot of mana um, to play it. And I just wouldn't recommend playing it with Sword. But if you don't have any other option... Uh, you can play it, uh, but yeah, it will be very hard time for you. Uh, so yeah, next, uh, Riding Hood. I think Riding Hood is the best with Sword. 
it is not that great uh, with spear. I would preferably play it with sword, just because it has really high damage uh, on its own, uh, very attack, very high attack speed on its own as well. Uh, plus, it has additional attack speed from Zeus tiles, for example, or gadget tiles, and from knight statue. So it is just normal thing to go for sword, because you just don't need uh, more attack speed. Uh, you just need more damage. Alright, next, Trent. Trent is played with Sword. Basically, you can play any variation with Sword if you have only Sword. You can play it with Necro if you want. You can play it with Fortuna. You can play it with uh, with Zeus. You can play it with Mabraid. You can play it with uh, Gadget or any other hero that you want to play. Uh, Sword is really good for Trent just because it has very high attack speed on its own in base stats. So, yeah. Um, next we have Banshee. Banshee, I think, with Sword is very solid. Um, it is more like a safer option than playing it with bow. Uh, it doesn't have as high highs as bow Banshee because with bow you really um, depending on those crits basically. So yeah, that's that. Uh, Boreas, uh, my thought process was if Boreas has very at high attack speed then you can play it with Sword, but I don't know, like Boreas right now is played only with one deck uh, and it is Necro Boreas, uh, other than that it's just not playable, uh, but sure if you want to play Boreas and you have Sword it will be I think good, yeah. Uh, Cultist, Cultist I think with Sword is the best variation just because of the level 15 talent it benefits the most uh, out of sword uh, you can play it with bow as well as you can see I put it in bow uh, section as well but it's the same with Banshee like you are really depending on those crits uh, so it's the most solid option to go with sword that's my opinion uh, all right Tesla my thought process was if you play it with knight statue then you can play it with sword as well uh, just because you have that additional attack speed. Uh, is it the best? Not sure. Just because I'm not a ex uh, Tesla expert, it's just an idea that you can play it. Uh, so yeah, I'm just not gonna talk about it uh, that much. Next, we have Bow. Bow, I think, uh, is really very, very really situa situational. What's the word? Like, you can play it in not many situations, basically. Uh, it's very risky to play, Very can be very rewarding, but can, you can lose a lot with it. Uh, that's my opinion. Uh, so any of those uh, units, Bruiser, Spirit Master, uh, Trent, Genie, uh, Banshee and Cultist can play Bow. But I don't think it's the greatest option to go for it. If you know what I mean. Uh, I think out of those six units, I think the safest option is our genie and a cultist, in my opinion. Uh, just because uh, the cultist level 15 talents is always on the monsters, and same goes for Vortex uh, from genie is always on the monsters. So, yeah, it doesn't have that delay uh, that the projectile damage doesn't go through your board, basically. Uh, Alright, and last but not least we have Staff. Staff is played uh, with uh, Toxic Variation or some DPS decks, such as DPS decks are uh, of course Genie if you if you play it with for example Snowflake and of course is played with Meteor just because Meteor needs, needs a lot of mana uh, to be anyhow playable basically. Uh, and is played with Toxic units such as Mino, Robot, uh, you can play Sea Dog as well, and you can play it with Boreas as well. Uh, just suffocate your uh, opponents uh, in a way that with stuff you get much more mana, so you have much more units on your board while you suffocate enemies' mana. So you basically have a huge advantage over, over your opponent, and so that's the idea. And that's it. I think I put every DPS unit in every section that is playable. Uh, next video I plan to make a uh, amulets 
I will not be making one for armors just because it's just... Yeah, it's... It, I would have to put every unit in every armor. It's just... It just doesn't make sense. So I will be making one for amulet as well. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, of course, like, subscribe. Subscribe please because I need those subs. And 90% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. And of course, if you have any thoughts, uh, any comments about my list, drop them down below in the comment section. I will read it and uh, respond to every each of the comments. And yeah, as always, see you guys in the next video. Hey there, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.